Shalom all, giving all praises, honors, and glories unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Akakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Church of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the sincere and hopeful elect, you brothers out there that's prophesying in the true name and the true doctrine about the times we're in and headed to, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And uh, I got a couple uh, articles and scriptures I want to go into, but first, I want to play this video real quick. Today's date is July the 18th, 2021. We're at 440 Gary Ray Avenue in Toronto, Ontario. This is outside of a pharmaceutical building, and UN trucks are outside parked. See these armored vehicles? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Fascist Ford and his group of lackeys, Jack Boot and Thugs, have planned. Today's date is July the 18th. saw there you see people recording these uh events in different states of un trucks they call the blue helmets or blue hats rather united nations um that are you know over there in maryland i believe this was in uh what do you say toronto if i'm not mistaken um but uh outside of a pharmaceutical company you know, and this member Trump gave uh, power to FEMA and the army. And as you can see here on the right side, so RT News, I just came across this article where it says, Tunisian army to take control of COVID crisis or the sea crisis as country grapples with healthcare system failures. And this was just uh, published. July 21st, right? This video on the left was updated, what, four or five days before this? So, um, yeah, it just shows you. And, and they've been speaking about the military distributing the uh, jazz. That's why lately they've been going door to doors, I believe, within uh, Australia, uh, Italy, France. You know, the French government, you know, is turning people away from going to certain uh, public events, you know, like swimming pools, museums, shopping malls, restaurants, things of that nature, you know. So we know that test runs and trial runs has been happening, you know, but we're getting closer to the point where things are going to be fully mandated globally and it, it's going to hit hard over here in the U.S. The U.S. is, is America, uh, uh, Babylon, Babylon the Great, man. All right, Rome, Greece, Egypt, all over again. Sodom and Gomorrah, you know, and this place is going to be utterly destroyed. These are prophecies. These are all prophecies. Tunisian President Kais Say Seed, if I'm saying it right, has declared that the handling of the country's sea outbreak will be passed over to the army as the state struggles with instability and crumbling health care system and Notice Biden speaking about bringing the troops back from Afghanistan to the U.S. by September. September is when they're trying to mandate the jabs, and most of the U.S. military are, are denying it. So a lot of people from uh, law enforcement, hospitals, and, and even teachers, I guess uh, first um, aid jobs, are, are people are denying it, either getting fired or quitting, right? Why do you think that you, uh, FEMA is taking control um, those are for so-called natural disasters, things like that. Um, and uh, the UN troops has to get involved. United Nations, because those are always troops from overseas. Now, if they come over here to America, they're not really gonna have sympathy for people over here. You 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 get what I'm saying? So the, you know the U.S. Army, if they're not taking it, you think they're gonna let their families take it, right? 
So it's also causing um, people to riot, things of that nature in uh, overseas countries and even in the States, you know, which is going to cause civil unrest, man, right? So without further ado, man, I'm going to get this. I'm going to get some precepts. And this is another article on RT News. Pardon me, I got a little uh, running nose or whatever, man. But uh, over here, this article says entry denied. France's uh, C19 V passport not required for museums, cinemas, or swimming pools. So, you know, these digital passports, mind you, you gotta understand, right? That we're on the verge. Of a bank crisis. So right now is the time. Where they trying to usher in as quick as possible. To have all these things. Go digital. See what I'm saying. So they can make it seem so convenient. And that's why you even have. Uh, celebrities. Right. You so And they targeting you so called Negroes. Latinos and Native and Seminole Indians. Which are the biblical Israelites. Which are the low income and the poor. You know, because we're heading to Jacob's trouble, as the scriptures speak about. Jacob is what our forefathers is. You see, we're the 12 tribes that's still in captivity. But the Lord is waking up his men to prophesy about these things. Even with, you know, you got whistleblowers. You got, that's why they're trying to censor these uh, different platforms. Even apps, you know, that's why they're trying to have all these, all of a sudden, blackouts and, Things like that, because if there is an EMP attack, they gonna who do, you know they're gonna blame it on somebody, you know, something called problem reaction solution. Anyway, this is the book of Isaiah chapter fifty nine verse nineteen, it says so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and His glory from the rising of the sun, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, as you can see with the white trucks, it's the enemy man. UN troops. They even show you this. Go watch the movie, uh, The Fifth Wave. Go figure, right? The Fifth Wave. With that little white girl. Um, but see, now they're stating that certain countries are entering into a fourth wave. I, I mean, you, 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 can't, you can't make this up. Anyway, it says, The Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. So, the enemy... The elites, Esau, the Edomites, the fucking Rothschilds, we're going to name them. The Bilderberg, where they go to the meetings. The Appleheimers, the Rockefellers, also known as the Rothschilds, right? I mean, uh, Salakia, pardon me. The Rothschild, uh, also known as um, Red Shield, rather. You know, you got the Rockefellers, the DuPonts, you got the Gettys, you know? All these so-called secret societies, you know, which they're not a secret no more. You know, they're going to try to come in like a flood, martial law, you know. And the scriptures speak about it, but the Lord is going to lift up a standard against them because they're going to try to come for those that believe and know about the prophecies, knowing the Israelites in the true name and in the true doctrine. Not just anybody, but the elect. Right? And uh, they're trying to establish their whole new world order. But that's why scriptures tell you in Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Right, let's get that real quick. Right? It says here, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. Because right now we're in heaven is, is in, uh, on, uh, I believe, synonymous for uh, rulership. You know? And the judgment is going to happen on earth. And whose rulership we in? Hey, go figure. I just, I just named it for you. It says, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil, right, the deceiver, is come down unto you. Having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Scriptures I just read in Isaiah 59 and 19 said what? That the Lord is going to lift up a standard against him. 
You know, so there's a bound to where they cannot pass, like it tells you in Job. You know? But uh this is Jacob's trouble that's that that's that's on the rise, and our people are gonna feel the wrath of the Lord. Cause the Lord is He's orchestrating all this. Don't get it twisted. He like it says Proverbs twenty one and one that the king's heart is in the hands of the Lord. So the Lord is controlling both sides of the party. It says what? The deceive and the deceiver are his. But he's doing this because our people, they don't wanna they don't wanna take heed. They don't wanna repent. They don't wanna get right. So they're gonna have to suffer the consequence, man. Alright? Nevertheless, when Yahweh Shai comes back, it's gonna be during uh, uh in the midst of when they the hour of temptation. When they make that that chip or the MOB mandatory globally, and then World War Three hits the fan, you know, in a great climax in a biblical proportion that that was never seen, as it tells you in uh, Daniel the twelfth chapter in the first verse. Yeah, was sure I was gonna come back with the holy angels. That's why the angels is popping up here and there, left and right, showing you, you know, they're gonna deliver the the elect. You know, the believers, men, the prophets, the disciples, women, children, zealots, friends of the prophets, you know, the one third. And the and the rest is just going to have to, they're going to suffer the consequence, man. You, they're going to have to get their judgment, you know. Because we're telling you these things are coming in. You know, the day of the Lord is near. Isaiah chapter 10 and 1, verse 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed, which is these unjust laws they're trying to pass, these draconian measures, you know, mandating this uh, needle. But we know how uh, 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 it's all a, a snowball effect, a domino effect, rather, with these prophecies. Why? Because what? One thing... Leads to another, leads to another, you know, until, mm -hmm. until, you know, like the scriptures say, till all these things be fulfilled, right? Right, and I'm going to get that real quick. We're going to jump back to Isaiah, the 10th chapter, but I just want to get this since I quoted it real swift in the book of St. Matthew, chapter 24, verse 34, verily, meaning truly. I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Right. So the, all these things is being fulfilled. And and this is the generation that Yahweh Shai is going to come and visit. We're in those latter days. You know what I mean? Why? How we know? Because all the prophecies that are coming to pass in full fledged that Yahweh Shai warned us about was going to come, you know, to effect before his second return. And we're seeing that. We're seeing it happening in a scale like never before, man. Though it, uh, things like this always been happening. But the greatest prophecies is what? Chip, our temptation, and, and, and the last war of all wars need to come to pass. Because the Lord's going to destroy shit. Destroy these kingdoms. That's why Yahweh Shah is referred to as the king of kings. So these kingdoms has to be destroyed in order for the kingdom of heaven. That shall be done on earth. That's going to be the, 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 the real kingdom. The new world order. The new normal. The uh, restoration, if you will. The, the establishment of the kingdom of Israel. Alright? And that's what we desire. That's what we're looking forward to, man. So it's Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 2 now. It says, To turn aside the needy from judgment. And to take away the right from the poor of my people, that widows may be their prey, and that they may rob the fatherless. You know, to turn the needy from judgment. He says to take away the rights from the poor. People's liberties are being mm -hmm. taken away as we speak. You know, read I, uh, a second as just nine and nine. <laughs> right, that decree unrighteous decrees. These unrighteous laws. And policies and restrictions. And these other countries, man, they're getting tired of the bullshit. The, the sanctions and, you know, America is uh, 
mandations, you know? Like it tells you in the, uh, forget what website, but um, their whole Agenda 2030, their whole Sustainable Development Plan is a slogan for, you know, Biden with the Build Back Better bullshit. But the slogan for uh, global solutions for global problems. So go figure. <clears throat> but uh, I just want to get this real quick. Uh, where is it at? Matter of fact. Right? Because I had a specific word for this. So it says, He said if in the lurking places of the villages, in the secret places doth he murder the innocent, his eyes are privately set against the poor. It's like how you have your law enforcement, you know, watching, lurking. You know, that's why they got the cameras. You know? That's why also with their, their social media, the internet, the, even with the track and trace apps, you know, that's ways that they're lurking, watching, seeing, you know, who's following what and, and the restrictions and all that through their technology. But before, they'll have, you know, and they still do with the cop cars in, in the middle of the highways behind a tree. Like, you can't, like, you can't spot them. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, nevertheless, man, just to go into that word a little bit further, lurking, right, in the etymology to hide, lie hidden, probably uh, Scandinavian, uh, to sneak away. And they've been, you know, go to um, Event 201. You know, they've been sneaking these things. They've been studying. They've been lurking and hiding. These are their, 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 that the scriptures mention. In Psalms, we're going to get that. Psalms chapter 64 verse 2. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. From the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. So, you know, when they go to their little G summits, G7 summits, the United Nations meetings, right? The, um, when they have, you know, when they have their, their little Bilderberg meetings, it's all about for, you know, strategic plans on how to create a new, a one world government, a new world order, you know, one world religion. A one world currency, even a one world army, which is what the United Nations. But it's not gonna, it's not gonna last. It's not because America's allies is gonna turn their backs. Believe that. I believe Turkey is gonna turn their backs, which is part of America's allies. You know what I'm saying? They trying to be like God, omnipresent, having cameras all around, these different devices. That's why they're trying to bring that chip. They're trying to play like the most high. You know? But it's not gonna... It's not gonna f uh, uh, fully... Um, it's not... They're not, you know... They're not gonna establish it. Right? Because even in Job, the fifth chapter, uh, no, the 20th chapter tells you that the triumphing of the wicked is, is is basically short, in other words. You know? Yeah, right here. Job chapter 20, verse 5, that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the, of the hypocrite but for a moment. <laughs> exactly. Now, we're going to go to the point 22. Right? It says, In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. When he is about to fill his belly, I believe he's talking about uh, Israel, but right here is the point I wanted to get. When he is about to fill his belly, right? When he's satisfied, when he has all his, you know, most of the people got their beat, uh, uh, the chip, uh, you know, destroyed the middle class, now it's the rich and the poor. You got the military, you know, when they feel like they're actually accomplishing and establishing everything the way they, they see fit and desired, you know, they knew, well, all right, everything's coming to plan, you know, we got the world in our back pockets now, boom. Remember, the Lord said he's going to come like a thief in the night. 
You know what I'm saying? Even uh, what I believe is First or Second Thessalonians five and three, when they say peace and safety. Matter of fact, woo wee, let's get that. Let's get that. Yep. First Thessalonians chapter five verse number three. For when they shall say peace and safety, you know when they come crouching, humble, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 and and we, we only time will, will play itself out on how it's going to fully affect, you know, but these things are going to happen. I mean, the scriptures is telling you, uh, when the end shall speak, the end shall speak and not lie because everything is manifesting. Everything's coming to full, you know, coming to effect as the scripture said it would, uh, uh, Job chapter 24, verse one, you know, like it said, do they that know him not see his days? That's why the Lord said, watch and pray, man. You know? Not get distracted. Like Apostle uh, 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 Gabar recently, in his new page, the first video he made on it was called what? Keeping your eyes single, man. You know? Uh, it says, then sudden, destru sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. So we seen those birth pains happening as a tr uh, like a woman in travail. You know, because Yahweh Shah is going to scream like a woman in labor, like the scripture tell you. You know, he's going to come with a shout, right? Like it also says. So that's, that's, that's that, you know, moment we all waiting for, man. The grand finale. Isaiah chapter 32, verse 7. The instruments also of the cherub are evil, right? And uh, that word cherub just means like a peasant. Like a uh, despicable man, a, a low, unmoral piece of shit. All right, like like the apostles say. All right, but anyway, it says the in because that's an instrument, you know, an instrument to do wickedness. Like you got instrument of of, you know, the uh, the Smiths, the scientists creating these bombs. You know, it goes from the bombs to needles. Those are instruments of the wicked. Says the instruments also of the chair are evil. He devices wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words. Right? It tells you in Psalms 55 and I believe 21. Well, we could get that. It says lying words even when they, the needy speak if right. So you speak the right thing. Hey, if your video gets shut down, you looked at as an enemy. You know? But let's get this real quick. Because war is in their heart. This is why Isaiah said, uh, Woe to them that go to Egypt for help. In other words, destruction is going to come upon them that trust in this government for help instead of the Lord. Why? Because they look not unto the Holy One of Israel. You know, people are trusting in physicians and doctors and the needle. More than reading the scriptures and, and, and seeking out those things which they are true. Like uh, like the church of Berea. You know, you have people in the ancient times that sought out those things that, that they heard the men of the Lord speak about. You know, because it's all coming out of the scriptures. See, men are, are not just crawling out of rocks bringing these things out. Nah, man. It's the spirit of the Lord. The spirit of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. That's why we say at the end, by Hashem Rukakwadash, in, in the spirit, you know, in that Holy Spirit, you know, because it's the Lord that speaks through us, as which is nothing but vessels, man, vessels of water, you know, and that, wa and that truth is coming out like water. Psalms chapter 55, verse 21, and this is why the Lord, the scriptures say, Sirach 12, never trust thine enemy. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart, meaning his mind. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. Look at the treaties they've always made, with the, they made with the natives, they made with these other countries, you know. They make treaties, and then, the, you know, because those that make the rules break the rules, you know. <laughs> Esau, they've always spoke with a double, you know, double tongue, right? Double standard. That's why the scriptures 
speak of them as, as being the hypocrite. And the Lord hates a hypocrite. Right? So I just wanted to bring this out. And, um, you know, the scriptures even speak about, you know, the se uh, the second woe is passed and behold, the third woe uh, coming quickly. So things are happening quicker than ever. You know, Isaiah 55 and 6, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Because just seeing all these prophecies coming to pass as fast as it is also shows you that the doors of repentance is closing. <laughs> fast as well so with that i hope this video was edifying this lesson was edifying i could bring out more scriptures but i'm gonna just leave it to this left i'm gonna play this video again and with that shalom today's date is july the 18th 